Good evening, and welcome to the Daily News Roundup with Daily Mirror Online. You're with me, Nicholas Manuel. Let's take a look at our headlines. Four passengers test COVID-19 positive in candy-bound buses. Another 162 COVID-19 cases reported from the Atalogama village. Sri Lanka is to make a decision on the COVID-19 vaccine by early January. The Sri Lanka Ayurveda Department approves the Kagala anti-COVID-19 syrup as a local medicine. Villagers in Horopathana capture a wild baby elephant. Samagi Janabalavegya organizes a protest to urge the government to stop forcible cremation. Raids on illegal drugs are to be strengthened in the year 2021. Cardinal State's constitutional protection is required to protect Sri Lanka's flora. The Supreme Court rejects the fundamental rights petition on Z-score. China launches new Long March 8 rocket in a step towards reusable space vehicles. Now, diving into these stories in detail. Four passengers were found to be COVID-19 positive when rapid antigen tests were performed on them while traveling in passenger buses at Danovita on the Colombo Candy Road yesterday. 250 passengers were tested on Tuesday, and four of them were found COVID-19 positive. They are residents of Dodangaslanda, Giriula, Beruela, and Nelundenia. The buses have been disinfected, and the infected were taken to hospital. A total of 428 COVID-19 cases have been reported yesterday across the country, and among them, 162 were from the Atalogama village in Bandaragama. Accordingly, a total of 193 COVID-19 patients have been reported in the Kalutari district, while 100 cases have been reported in and around Colombo, out of which 35 were inmates of Walika the prison. Meanwhile, 42 patients have been reported in the Trincomalee district, and 12 of them were from Muthur police station. Sri Lanka's expert committee, which has been appointed to study the COVID-19 vaccines which have been produced by some countries, will conclude its final recommendation as to which vaccine would be best suited for Sri Lankans by early January, after which the government will inform the WHO. The committee, which has been meeting since August, is presently concluding its study on the vaccines and has taken into consideration several elements as to which vaccine would be best for Sri Lankan citizens. Indigenous Medicine Promotion, Rural and Ayurveda Hospital Development and Community Health Secretary, Ms. AKWWMNK Weerasekara, stated that after evaluating all technical reports relating to the anti-COVID-19 syrup introduced by Ayurvedic practitioner Dhammika Bandara from Kagala, the pharmacological unit of the Sri Lanka Ayurveda Department has approved the syrup as a local medicine. Addressing the media, she stated that the syrup was registered as a local medicine following approval of the Ayurvedic commissioner. Its suitability for coronavirus will be determined after clinical tests. Villagers allege that a wild baby elephant found in a paddy field in the Kotowewa area in Horopatana has been captured by the people of the village and tied to a tree. The Horopatana Motogonewa Wildlife Office had been informed, but wildlife officials are yet to arrive at the spot. The villagers suspect that the mother of the baby elephant may have come to the village at night and that the baby elephant has to be released soon. A protest campaign organized by the Samagi Jana Balavegia was held in front of the Borella General Cemetery in Colombo today. The protesters requested the authorities not to burn the bodies of Muslim COVID-19 victims and urged them to stop forcible cremation. Adavana Vita Vidyava Pasaka Damala 
मिथ्याव क्रियात्मक वेन निशा अपे बहुत दहाग में का प्रजावट माथा का वस्त्र पूजा व पैनवेडीम ये आवश्यक मुहूते क्रियात्मक वेन ये पांच सकूले अपे बहुत द प्रजावट आहिमी वेलाते बे ये वगेम सेसु आगम वल ये आग में का क्रिया दाम यान क्रियात में का करने टे ये आई थी लबादे ने रोने लोके रटवाल एकसी आनुओं कर में दे सिद्ध बनो लोक साउंड के संविधाने बहुमत पहले लीवर निर्देश लबादी लते बनो विशेषक ने कमिटुआ अपक्षपाती विशेषक ने कमिटुआ स्थापने करला युक्ति ये साधारण अत्ये एक आगम का टप्पा मनाकनो ये बहुत धागमिक इस्लामी क्रिश्चियानी कैथोलिक हिंदू आगमिक में हम आगम का टप्पा संबंध ये मरने टप्पा पत्तुनु पुत्गले आवेदुएन आगमिक खाटी उत्तर क्रियात्मक करने टप्पा ये अवस्था व लबादी युतु इकी निकाई उन्हें मतलब ये आगे ना सिंहल बहुत प्रमुख अत्यंत है तूला मेरा टा सुराकीन ना टा नाम सीलु जाते इन सीलु आगम संहिंदिया विंग सहोदर अत्यंत इकटा जीवन अत्यंत नटो Retired Defense Secretary Major General Kamal Gunaratna stated that operations to curb illegal drug rings in the island would be further strengthened during the next year. He added that the nabbing of many drug dealing incidents was effective following tips from the general public, and the recent drop in drug availability in the country has also resulted in notable price hikes. He informed that maximum legal action would be taken against those involved in underworld activities. His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit stated that constitutional protection should be afforded to Sri Lanka's flora if the ecosystem is to be protected. He added that by safeguarding the country's ecosystem, Water resources will become a major source of income for Sri Lanka in the future. The Cardinal expressed these views during a courtesy call by Foreign Minister Dinesh Gunawardena at the Cardinal's official residence today. The Supreme Court today rejected a fundamental rights petition filed by a group of students seeking an interim injunction suspending the admission of students to engineering and physics faculties based on their Z-score. The petitions were filed by 42 students who passed their GCE advanced level examinations in 2019 under the new syllabus. China launched its latest rocket from its southern island of Hainan on Tuesday as it progresses towards its target of developing reusable space launch vehicles. The Long March 8 rocket's maiden flight, carrying five satellites into space, came five days after the return of the Shanga 5 mission from the moon. A future variant of the new rocket, the Long March 8R, will be reusable, putting it on par with the Falcon series made by American aerospace company SpaceX. Wu Yixian, the Long March 8's deputy chief engineer, stated that the new rocket was cost-effective. For further details on these stories, visit our website, www.dailymirror.lk. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Nicholas Emanuel, and this was the Daily News Roundup.